What's up guys, DRJ here, and today I'm bringing you some domination on Fallen. So, this build is a, uh, I don't know, cheese dick build? It's a, uh, it's a care package build. I think I'm running, like, uh, Hardline, and then, like, all the, uh, lowest tier, uh, salt packages. I just, uh, <laughs> I was like, burn out. I'm just so frustrated with the game, I didn't really feel like playing. Uh, too seriously and wanted to run just a completely ridiculous build. Um, that said, I mean, it's not completely ridiculous. Uh, I don't necessarily find it enjoyable to uh, wait for those care packages. Um, I'm hoping, or I was hoping, to grab, you know, some just... I would love to just play around where I grab, like, you know, uber care package after uber care package after uber care package. That would be a lot of fun. Um, so I run the like, UAV uh, care package, and then uh, what you call it, the uh, predator missile. So there's a couple ways you can do it. You can call in the uh, care package, wait for that, and then go back out. Or if you have both the predator missile and the care package going at the same time, you can um, call in the care package and throw down the predator missile. And by the time you're done with the predator missile, you know the care package will be there. Um, Care packages seem to definitely take a while to uh, to load up, and you know they obviously have a tendency to get stuck, which kind of sucks. Um, you know what else you can see I'm doing is obviously playing around with different guns. Um, don't get me wrong, I love those FMGs, and I think that for short to close, well, close to even medium range combat, the FMGs are probably I want to say probably I mean, they are by far. Um, you know, the best gun for a couple reasons. Well, you know, for a lot of reasons. I mean, they really come in top on all the different categories, but I think one of the underrated reasons why is uh, like the reload and clip speed. Uh, or reload and uh, clip size, rather. Um, almost all of the other subs, you know, have a such a long reload time, and, you know, some of the guns have an exceptionally long reload time that. Uh, it's you almost have to feel like you're forced to run a slate of hand build if you plan on playing semi-aggressively at all. And that said, I think most people play this game like a big fucking vagina and don't play aggressively at all. And for a whole variety of reasons, you know, encourages them to camp and you know, all sorts of dumb shit like that. But um, like I said, if you plan on playing semi-aggressively and being in combat, I just feel like you don't have an option other than run slate of hand, but then running slate of hand sucks because you run out of ammo for your chosen gun. Um, you know, so then you're left with the option of like, well, hmm, you know, I want to run slate of hand with this, you know, uh, particular build, but um, at the same time, I want to level up this gun, so it doesn't do me any good to, you know, trash this gun and then, you know, I can level it up fast while I'm not using that gun, basically what I'm saying. Um, not sure what gun it is I'm using is the AK. Some of these guns almost seem to shoot faster or something like that, if depending on the attachments you put on them. Um, I don't know if it's just my imagination, but I've messed around with the AK-47 today, and it seemed to shoot just piss slow when I was playing around um, when I had a bare naked attachment or bare naked with just nothing on it at all. Um, but this one seems to be firing faster. Like I said, I don't know if it's just... That's my bad. Just ran right over the fucking Claymore. Ugh. I mean, really... Ugh. I'm sure Claymores and Bouncing Betties were necessary in order to make Modern Warfare 3, in addition to all the other crap-tastic factors. Um, but anyway, like I said, uh, the FMGs are fantastic for a lot of reasons, but one of them is simply the reload speed. And I think that's probably the hardest thing when I'm finding is the hardest thing for me to adapt to is is essentially the, the reload speed. Um, not really sure, like I said, what the way around that is. You can go Specialist, um, and Specialist I think is great, but Specialist I think really shines on, you know, modes like, say, TDM or um, which might kill confirmed and stuff like that, but you know, I've been playing around, I'll mess around with those a little bit, um, I think, er and I just have not been having much success or much fun. I think early on I played some of those and actually made a Facebook post saying, you know, it feels like these are less campy than, say, Domination. And I think depending on the map for, uh, depending on the map for, uh, 
TDM or kill confirm that might be the case, but in my experience lately with 70% of the maps out there, they're so camped and they're so absurd with the amount of snipers and uh, just complete all stealth classes that uh, it makes it very, very, very difficult to uh, truly make your way around that and, and live a reasonable amount of time, so I'm not sure what the answer is there. Um, domination is interesting because you know you don't necessarily expect people to be camping. You would hope that they'd be looking for flags, but at the same time, I don't want to give too much detail, but um, you know the game, for all sorts of different reasons, encourages people to uh, basically just blindly run in and uh, be a be a big fucking ding dong. So uh, what's gonna happen? Oh yeah. That's nice. Same fucking guy in the same place, the Claymore in the same spot. Good thing I learned from my mistakes. Um, so back to testing out guns. It's been it's been a little bit difficult to figure out what's going on with the guns and what guns I like and what guns I don't. I think for no other reason than um, my connection. I have just ever since I played uh, three four days ago with the. Uh, the open lobby, I just cannot buy a uh, decent connection. Um, you know, I, I've, I've played games where I felt like my, you know, I, I had a good connection, and you know, it's you'll know when you have those games because you feel like you can't, you feel like you can't, um, I don't want to say you feel like you can't die, but you know, you feel like you have this cushion there. You feel like you're walking around with a bulletproof vest on, essentially, at all times. Um, I've seen a few videos on YouTube that do a pretty good job of showing, like, you know, death after death or kill after kill. Um, basically exploiting the, uh, not exploiting, but showcasing the the lag, basically, in the game. Whether it's the lag compensation or whatever. I mean, I think we've all frequently been in games where everybody's on shitty ping. But like I said, you know, how the game feels almost seems completely... Uh, seems like it has very little to do with how many bars you have. Um... And, you know, with all the crap that's going on in this game right now, like, with all the bullshit that's there, like, with Claymores, with Bouncing Bettys, with, with Airstrikes, with Instant Respawn, uh, with Unit Collision, like, you can see my teammates blocking me from running away, with, you know, map design and radar and all these kill spots, you know, on top of all that stuff, like, trying to deal with all of that and manage, like, a horrific, shitty connection, it's not an easy thing to do. Um, I don't really know what the answer is. Uh, I think that, you know, before this game came out, I said that, you know, I'd prefer this versus, um, you know, the dedicated, uh, I'd rather have this than the dedicated server madness that happens when you give people unlimited freedom with dedicated servers. Um, but I'm still a little confused as to why they couldn't just give us dedicated servers and lock them down. Is it not possible to do this matchmaking with dedicated servers? Or does that make it more difficult? I don't know. But, you know, it's just, it's it's so, so, so frustrating to have to, you know, not be able to figure out where, uh, how strong a gun is, or, you know, how slow you are, how fast you are, how good the other guy is, because you can't figure it out, because it's all, all fucking lag. And, um, you know, it's just this huge, huge, huge factor that's you know, just really hard to do anything else uh, other than bitch and moan about it, I guess. So, you know, there we go. You know, like I said, just kind of playing around, being a ding dong, firing off four trillion predator missiles and care packages. Um, didn't really go after too many flags there. Team was doing pretty well. 29 and 1. I guess that's a 29 KD. <laughs> um, anyway, so. You know, feel free to let me know in the comments uh, what you guys think of the, uh, the server lag. If you guys encounter that, if it's bad, if it's good, not a big issue. You know, I'm curious to know what you guys think too.